In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a bullet journal collection in Tana that's fast, easy and helps you organize just about anything in your work and life. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your digital systems around productivity, knowledge and creativity. And today we're talking about bullet journaling, specifically bullet journal collections and how you can do them the Tana way. So the bullet journal is a paper or analog system mostly that was developed by writer Carol. And what it promises is to help you keep track of the past, order the present and design your future. And collections are a key component of the bullet journal system. At its very core, a collection is basically a list of things. Anything that you wanna keep track of and organize, you can create into a collection or a list. For me personally, I have lists for things like my favorite cocktail recipes, books that I wanna read, or even kind of affirmations that really inspire me and that I wanna keep track of. So in this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you why Tana is the perfect app to keep all of your bullet journal collections in. We're gonna go through and set up a collection together, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of little different things that Tana can do that your traditional paper bullet journal collections cannot. So before we actually get into setting up our bullet journal collection, why should you even use Tana for this? Well, I actually think that Tana is purpose built for lists like this. So in a traditional paper bullet journal, you might have a page that has the name of your list at the top, let's say cocktail recipes. Um, and you just list each one down in that page. But every time that you need to add a new one or find that page, you have to go to your index, you have to find the number of the page, then you have to flick to that page. And all of that takes time and effort. In Tana, all you have to do to get something in is write something in a node, give it a super tag, and then it goes to that list. Live searches then actually bring all of those collections together so that it's really easy to find those things again. And so that's why I think Tana is purpose built for collections like this. So as I said, collections are just simple lists of things and I keep all sorts of lists that I don't want to lose track of. And it's much easier to get them into a trusted system like collections than let them uh, rumble around in your head and possibly lose them. So this is my collections list. Uh, I keep collections on so many different things from wish lists of things that I wanna buy, cocktails, flavors, breath work, yoga, uh, even an aromatherapy collection. So let me show you how to set up your first collection and then we can come back here and I'll show you how to set up this collections hub so everything is in the one place. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is work out what kind of list do you wanna keep. For this demo, I wanna keep a list of books that I want to read. So what you wanna do is you wanna set up a super tag for your collection, okay? So if it's books to read, we're gonna set up that super tag. So all we're gonna do is create a super tag called books to read and then create it, all right? And then I might uh, put a few different books in here. So once you've got your super tag and you've got a couple of items, then you might also wanna think about some different fields uh, that you want to add to your super tag. So this is gonna be different per different collection that you have. But for books to read, an obvious one is something like author, okay? So we're just gonna come over to our configuration panel, add a new field, and this one is gonna be called author, okay? That means that any of our super tags now have that field. So once you've got your collection super tag set up and you've got a couple of different items, now we wanna go through and set up our collections hub. This is really easy. All you wanna do is add a new node called collections hub. And so I would suggest putting this node at the very top level of your Tana workspace. All you have to do is come up to your very top level Okay, you'll see this, and you just wanna make sure that it is right at the top here, and that way you will see it in your workspace. If we come to all the way down, there we go. So once you've got your hub, you can just click to zoom in. And then what we're gonna do is in our collections hub, every time we have a new collection, we're gonna create a new live search for that. So we've got our books to read collection. So we're just gonna call this node books to read. And then we're going to do command K and then we're gonna find all the nodes with the tag books to read. 
and then we're going to view it as a list. And so for every collection that you create, you want to come into your collections hub and add a new one. Now you can absolutely keep your collections hub as a list like this. And each time you need to find a book to read, you just come in here and you open it up. Um, you can also, uh, if you wanted, sort this by alphabetical order. Once you get a lot of lists, it can be easier to do that. So you just come up here to sort, add, and then just sort by name. And then that, uh, brings everything into alphabetical order. Now, personally, I like to view my collections as cards. I just find it just a nicer way to look at it. So I just come all the way up to the top here uh, and go collections hub and view as cards. Okay, and now I've got these kind of like handy cards, but you might have noticed in my collections hub, I have these handy little thumbnails, uh, which really, really nice just to kind of bring a visual aspect to your collections hub. But also when you zoom in, you can kind of see those at the top and it's really just a banner for this particular node. So let me show you how to set this up. So in any one of your collections, what you want to do is you want to zoom into that collection. So let's say books to read. So zoom all the way in and then at the top here where you've got books to read, put your cursor and then go command K and configure that node. You get this configuration panel that comes up and what you want is to put an image here in the banner image. Now you can use any image that you want in a banner. I suggest if you want to kind of make it all look uniform, then go to Canva and create a thumbnail uh, that you can kind of reuse each time. This is the one that I use. It was just a template that I found in Canva. You can come up here to designs and you can find all sorts of different ones um, that kind of suit your style and what you like. And so once you've got your image, all you want to do is just drop that in here where it says banner image that will upload. And as soon as it uploads, you'll see it come up at the top. And if we go back, you'll also see it come up here in the card view. And so you can do that for your next one, come up here, configure, put your banner image in, and then you will have a beautiful collections hub uh, that you can track and organize almost anything in your life and work. Now I promised you I would show you some things that Tana can do that your traditional paper bullet journal cannot. One of those is being able to add a new item into your collections from anywhere that you are. So if I wanted to add a new book to read, I can just come command E, type the name of my book, give it the tag books to read and then add it. And so when I come into books to read, that shows up right there. So this means that you don't actually have to go to collections and add something into a collection. You can literally add it from anywhere in Tana and it's going to show up. This means that you don't have to context switch. As soon as you think about something, you want to add it in, you can get it into a collection really, really easily. Now, the second thing that you might want to do to make it easy to get to your collections again is to pin the collections hub. All you have to do is come up here to collections hub, go to command K and just go pin node. And so that way you can come to your pinned nodes and you'll always find your collections hub within easy access. This means now that it's easy to get things in and it's easier to find those things again. The very last thing is because Tana is so flexible and configurable, you can keep so much information about that item in one place. So rather than just have one single line in a journal or a notebook, you can keep a lot of different information. So you can start to really build out your tags with different kinds of fields. So, you know, you might want to have a status field here for how, did I read it or did I not read it? You might want to have a star rating. You know, you can start to really build a whole lot of fields that help you to then um, view uh, all the information that you want in one glance. And so once you've got some fields, then you can decide, well, what view do I want to see these collections in? If you've got a, a lot of fields for a specific entry or a specific collection, you might want to view that as a table, for instance. So you can go through and you can see uh, all the books, all the statuses, all the star ratings in one go. And so that is the beauty of keeping your collections in Tana is that you now have 
the flexibility and the kind of all the configuration options so that you can keep track of almost anything in Tana really quickly and easily and be able to find it again. So now you know how to start beautiful lists in Tana to track and organize anything. You might want to take your Tana to the next level, which is why you might want to watch this next video on my five easy tricks to up your productivity when using Tana. And remember, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this in your feed.